It is imperative to develop an economic model to explain the impacts of female labor force child abuse linkage on crime using Maslow's hierarchies of needs. The number of child abuse cases in Malaysia from 2010 to 2017 exhibited a steady increase. Negligent cases accounted for the largest share of total cases in 2017, followed by physical abuse. Over 39% or 192 from 685 child abuse cases reported in the country were committed by their biological mothers. If we look at the trend of female labor force in Malaysia from 2010 to 2018, the female labor force showed a continuous rise and female employment always goes up every year. We use an economic model to investigate the effects of female labor force participation on child abuse cases in Malaysia, and this is our economic model. This study provides short-run and long-run effects of female labor force participation on crime and child abuse cases in Malaysia. In the long run and short run, female labor force participation can affect child abuse cases. We sent an article on the relationship between female labor force and child abuse to General Economy Malaysia and it has been accepted and published. The journal is indexed in Scopus. Other than that, the idea has also been given intellectual property. This is our conceptual framework using Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Increase in female labor force give two impacts, direct, mother is an abuser, and indirect babysitter to increase in child abuse. If a child is being abused or neglected, at age 0 to 9, a child suffers lacks of physiological need and safety need, thus they are easily influenced by negative friends or environment. At age 10 to 17, an abused child suffers lacks of physiological need, safety need and belonging need thus may motivate them to commit criminal activity as to gain attention. At this age stage, if the children commit offence, they are called as juvenile offender. Unfortunately, once they are released from juvenile school, it is difficult for them to be accepted by society and reduce their esteem needs. Consequently, they choose to be an adult offender after they fail to feel fulfill the needs from childhood. To summarize, this conceptual framework sheds light on increasing number of child abuse cases can potentially increase crime rate. As for the conclusion, first, the findings of this study can create awareness among society People are aware that when women are busy working, they are stressed and not able to balance work and family commitments, thus child abuse occurs. Other than that, these findings can help policymakers formulate policies to overcome the problem. The first policies that we can formulate is actually a flexible working policy. A flexible working policy can give leeway to working mother and make them have more time with their children. Apart from that, the Child Act 2001 should be improved. <laughs>